So saunas can be incredibly anabolic guys and can modulate growth hormone levels significantly. Growth hormone is anabolic and is one of the main drivers of skeletal muscle mass through the growth signaling pathway mTOR, which is a regulatory complex that controls heaps of things in our body. But for the purposes of this video, it controls skeletal muscle growth and hypertrophy. And as you can see in this graph, growth hormone fits into the category of being a growth factor, which ultimately facilitates muscle protein synthesis, which is muscle protein growth and hypertrophy by activating mTOR C1. And you can use the sauna to stimulate your growth hormone a lot. In this in this first study, growth hormone levels increased from 2 to 5 picograms per liter at 30 minutes post exposure. In young men, now in old men, there wasn't much of a change, but in young men, this is quite a big increase, a 2.5 times increase. In this second study, in eight healthy men, growth hormone levels increased from a baseline of 3.5 picograms per liter to 17.3. That is a huge increase in growth hormone levels at 100 degrees dry heat, and then at 80 degrees dry heat, a similar increase from 8.8 .8 to 16.3, almost a double there. And then the third study, growth hormone levels in 90 degrees heat increased from 3.8 nanograms per mil to 8.8 nanograms per milliliter, which is another big increase and evidence that growth hormone levels significantly spike during the sauna, anywhere from 1.85 times to 4.94 times in some studies. But why does the sauna seem to increase growth hormone? Well, growth hormone is released due to heat stress as a trigger. The hypothalamus recognizes the heat as an actual stress and will release growth hormone in a stress type response. Growth hormone releasing hormone is also increased in these studies. More growth hormone releasing hormone basically means more growth hormone itself. Heat shock proteins are also involved. So heat shock proteins are activated due to obviously heat shock and heat stress in the sauna. And the body is basically saying, I recognize your body is under heat stress so i'm going to activate your hpa which is your hypothalamic pituitary axis to try and combat this and release growth hormone to try and combat the stress and in multiple studies not just heat stress but any form of stress can activate your hpa axis and lead to an increase in growth hormone levels which is quite interesting that growth hormone release seems to be part of the overall adaptation process and then the third study mentions that heat exposure could activate the endogenous opioid system which may play a role in the neuroendocrine response to heat stress including the secretion of GH, endogenous opioids like beta endorphins can influence the secretion of several hormones, including growth hormone, and studies have shown that sauna exposure can significantly increase beta endorphin levels. As you can see in the charts, beta endorphin levels significantly rise during about 30 minutes of exposure to heat in a sauna session. So in summary, the increase in growth hormone is multifactorial, including a heat-induced stress response by the HPA, activation of the HPA itself, stimulation of growth hormone, releasing hormone secretion, and possibly the involvement of the endogenous opioid system. And young men seem to do better than old men in terms of the growth hormone increase, which could also be related to how well their HPA axis is functioning. The HPA axis activity and functioning decreases as men get older. I talk about this all the time on my channel in terms of testosterone levels, but that could be a reason too. So if you are a young man and you want to increase your growth hormone levels to get more muscle growth, you can directly influence and manipulate your growth hormone levels by getting in a sauna for about 30 minutes split between 15, 15, and seems to be the gold standard. And there you go, guys. That is the science of how growth hormone levels are influenced by the sauna. And I will see you in the next video.